Outfitted with a new wing made completely of locally produced composite materials, Russia's Irkut MC-21 narrow-body jetliner will begin flight tests later this year, according to Russian Minister for Industry and Trade, Denis Mantarov. The fitting of domestic composites on the latest MC-21 marks the latest milestone in the Russian aviation industry's effort to wean itself from reliance on Western products. U.S. sanctions continue to threaten the viability of the program due to the original design's extensive use of Western parts. The new wing is built by the Ulyanovsk-based Aero Composite Company and will be fitted to a deliverable MC-21-300 airframe. According to Yakovlev, the company that designed the aircraft, the use of advanced composite materials and a patented infusion technology enabled the design house to develop a wing with an aspect ratio of 11.5, notably higher than respective figures for previous generation narrow bodies, which typically fall between 8 and 9, and larger commercial jets at 10 to 10.5. The higher aspect ratio results in a higher lift to drag ratio and improved aerodynamic performance. After Irkut resolves the issue of its reliance on Western composite materials, the MC-21 program office will have to address the aircraft's engines. Given a choice between the Pratt & Whitney PW-1400G and Russian-made Aviad Vigatel PD-14, most airlines selected the US-made turbofan. Even though Pratt & Whitney did deliver a number of engines, including four operable prototypes, still tightening US economic sanctions on Moscow threaten their availability. So far, 12 airlines have placed orders for the MC-21 and half of those are based outside Russia. Irkut's parent company, the United Aircraft Corporation, expects the model to receive Russian type certification for the PW-1400G-powered MC-21-300 by the end of the year, and deliveries to begin in 2023. Thanks for watching this AIN video. Please like, subscribe, and share it if you've enjoyed it. Also, visit AINonline.com for all the latest on the aviation industry.